Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Episode 5 of Gold Rush proved to be another tough week for Parker Schnabel, Rick Ness, and Kevin Beats. Each miner faced mounting challenges, from equipment failures to harsh environmental conditions, making their seasonal goals feel further out of reach. Here's a recap of how things unfolded for each team. For Parker Schnabel, the season has been an uphill battle against financial woes and unyielding terrain. Four weeks into mining at Dominion Creek, Parker's team has managed to extract only 135 ounces of gold, far short of their 10,000-ounce target. With expenses mounting and minimal returns, Parker was forced to confront the harsh reality of operating in one of the toughest mining environments he has ever faced. The unforgiving permafrost was a significant roadblock. Normally, the ground beneath the surface would melt, making it easier to access pay dirt. However, this season, the permafrost remained intact, slowing operations to a crawl. Parker's crew tried everything to push forward. Mitch Blaschke used a dozer to speed up the thawing process, only to find that the frozen ground had cracked the equipment's support braces, weakening the blade's structural integrity. Tyson Lee, another crew lead, operated a 480 excavator in an effort to send pay dirt to the wash plant, Roxanne. Unfortunately, the abrasive, rock-hard ground shredded the excavator's bucket-cutting edge, forcing yet another pause in operations. The team's momentum stalled further as forecasts predicted another 10 days of cold weather, threatening to spiral costs out of control. After weighing his options, Parker made a difficult yet calculated decision to halt sluicing entirely for at least three weeks. This was a bitter pill to swallow, but it was necessary to prevent the operation from hemorrhaging more money while they regrouped. At the weigh-in, Parker's team managed to collect 152.3 ounces of gold, worth approximately $380,000. However, this fell significantly short of the 200 ounces he had aimed for to stay on track. With profits dwindling and no immediate solutions in sight, Parker is staring at an uphill climb to salvage his season. Rick Ness a $150,000 mistake at Rally Valley. Rick Ness entered the season with high hopes for Rally Valley, a site he believed could turn his fortunes around. With 5,000 yards of pay dirt stockpiled and ready to sluice, he aimed for a 1,500-ounce goal that could transform the operation. However, the pressure to succeed was amplified by uncertainty surrounding the Duncan Creek claim where the future of the water license remains in limbo. Rick's optimism was bolstered by the arrival of a new 12-inch pump for the Monster Red Wash Plant, a $150,000 investment he hoped would increase production to 300 yards per hour. The crew quickly got to work installing the pump, which Rick jokingly referred to as a Ferrari in my garage. The stakes were high, Rick needed to recover at least 60 ounces of gold in the first week of sluicing to cover the cost of the pump. Unfortunately, the pump turned out to be the source of his downfall. Initial issues with water flow raised concerns, leading to a deeper investigation. To Rick's dismay, it was discovered that he had purchased the wrong type of pump. Instead of a pressure pump, which was necessary for Monster Red to function effectively, he had bought a volume pump. This oversight brought operations to a grinding halt and highlighted a critical error in planning. Rick and his team worked tirelessly to troubleshoot and address the water flow issues. They sealed an intake line and attempted to rectify a pinch in the hose, but the pump still failed to deliver the required water pressure. With sluicing on hold and mounting frustrations, Rick was left searching for a way to keep the operation running. This costly mistake may set the crew back significantly, and it remains to be seen how Rick Kevin will recover Beats, from this Learning mistake. the hard way at Scribner Creek For Kevin Beats, 
taking on the role of mine boss at Scribner Creek has been a trial by fire. The eldest son of Tony Beats is determined to prove himself, but the challenges of running the operation have been relentless. Equipment delays and unforeseen setbacks have made it difficult to get gold flowing, even after spending over $1 million on preparations. One of the biggest hurdles came when the crew hit the water table, flooding the worksite and creating a muddy mess that brought production to a halt. Without a pump to drain the water, the situation quickly spiraled out of control. Kevin turned to his father, Tony, who had a pump at Indian River. However, Tummy played hardball, insisting that the pump wouldn't be available for several days. This put Kevin's deadline in jeopardy, as every delay came with mounting costs. Desperate to stay on schedule, Kevin reached out to Parker Schnabel for assistance, knowing Parker had 20 pumps in his inventory. However, Parker dismissed the request, saying, I'm not going to jump to attention when you phone me. This moment served as a harsh lesson for Kevin about the competitive and often unforgiving nature of the mining business. Eventually, Kevin was able to secure the pump from his father, allowing the crew to resume work. While the immediate crisis was resolved, the delay added to the mounting pressure to meet their three-week deadline. Kevin's journey as a rookie mine boss is proving to be a steep learning curve, but his determination to rise to the challenge is evident. This week highlighted the harsh realities of gold mining, where no amount of preparation can fully mitigate the challenges posed by equipment failures, environmental conditions, and interpersonal dynamics. Parker, Rick, and Kevin each face critical decisions in the coming weeks that will determine whether they can turn their seasons around or fall short of their ambitious goals. As the ice begins to thaw and the season progresses, will these miners overcome their obstacles or will the weight of their setbacks prove too heavy to bear? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay with us.